Hello everyone, here we are with some physics fundamentals. So magnetic field is created only by moving charges, but why? Well, but at first, it started with a mail from Trishan. He said, every book I can avail says one thing that only moving charges can produce magnetic field and not the static charges. But no one is answering why. Well, so that's really a big problem. Here is the answer, but at first. It would be better if you take a pen and paper and sit in front of this video and do every calculation with us. Well, so let's start it. Here we have two frames, S and S prime. We will do some special theory of relativity in this video. If you know special theory of relativity, that's great. But if you don't, then also it's not a big problem. You will understand the concept. Okay. So there are two frames, S and S prime. How are they connected? S prime is moving with velocity V along X direction and they have a common X axis. Now, what is the relation between these two frames? The relation is governed by a factor gamma, where gamma equals to one by root under one minus V square by C square, where C is the velocity of light. Now, how does gamma govern the relation between these two frames? We will see. But before that, we have two charges, Q1 and Q2 in S prime frame. Now, keep it in mind. If you are in S prime frame, the charges are actually in rest with respect to you. But if you are in S frame, the charges are moving with respect to you. Okay. So, if the distance between Q1 and Q2 is R, then in S prime frame the forces are simple. If X prime equals to zero because there is no charge in X prime direction, if Y prime equals to the simple electrostatic force, one by four by epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R square. If Z prime equals to again zero. Now, in S prime, every force will be defined by multiplying one by gamma into the force in S prime frame, like Fx equals to one by gamma into Fx prime equals to zero. Fy equal to one by gamma into Fy prime equals to one by gamma into the electrostatic force, one by four by epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R square. Fz equals to one by gamma into Fz prime equals to zero. Is that fine up to now? Well, let's move forward. For simplicity, Let's take Q1 equal to Q2 equal to Q, which means if Y equal to 1 by gamma into Fy prime, that was before, equals to gamma into 1 by gamma square into 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into Q square by R square. Well, that means equals to gamma into 1 by gamma square means 1 minus V square by C square right so equals to gamma into 1 minus v square by c square into 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q square by r square now what we will do is we'll multiply this one with this factor and then again v square by c square with this factor so then this becomes gamma into 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q square by r square minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught c square into v square q square by r square so v square, this v square by c square is multiplied here here is v square and here is c square right hope there is no confusion then now practically v equals to electron moves with the velocity v equal to is the order of 10 to the power minus 4 and c is the order of 10 to the power 8 now v square by c square is again order of say 10 to the power minus 24 so that means gamma is practically 1. Another thing is that 1 by C square equal to mu naught epsilon naught, where mu naught is the magnetic permeability in vacuum. Okay, so then putting these values. So we'll put gamma equals to 1 and 1 by C square equals to mu naught epsilon naught. So if we put gamma equals to 1, only this remains, right? And 1 by C square equal to mu naught epsilon naught, then epsilon naught will cancel, only mu naught will remain in the above. Okay, so if y equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q square by r square minus mu, mu 0 by 4 pi 
into v square q square by r square well so now see the this term is the field dependent term right the simple electrostatic force you will see if you are in s frame but there is an extra part also which is like mu 0 by 4 pi into v square q square by r square so this part also already looks like something magnetic right so we will go further and actually we will found bio savart law is here okay so this is the velocity dependent term with vector notation f y equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q square by r square minus mu naught by 4 pi into v square q square by r square into j cap right so the force we will we are seeing is in the y direction only but so we can write so j comes here so if i equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q square by r square j cap there is no confusion this minus has become plus because j equal to k cross i but we are writing i cross k so j equal to minus i cross k so this minus and this minus gives you a plus right so mu naught by 4 pi into v square by q square i cross k now if we write only the velocity dependent term then because the other term is simple electrostatic force there is no point in writing this again and again we, we, we will see only this part okay so if i v the v for velocity dependent equal to mu naught by 4 pi v square q square by r square into i cross k equals to q into v vector because if we write if we take one q v outside then q v i cap now velocity is along x direction so we can write v i cap equals to v vector so q into v vector cross mu naught by 4 pi into q v by r square k cap again k equals to i cross j okay so equals to q v vector into mu naught by 4 pi q v by r square i cross j now we can write q v i cap equal to i delta l where i is the current and delta l is the length element in the wear of the current okay and j cap equal to r cap because the charges are separated in y direction so the unit vector along their separation is equals to the unit vector in y direction right so then if y v equals to q into v vector cross mu naught by 4 pi i delta l cross r cap by r square now see you already get the bio savart law here and the total force is given by if y v equals to q v cross b because this is this total is the magnetic field so q v cross b is the total lorentz force right okay so that was the answer to Trishan's question. You can also send us your fundamental physics queries to the mail ID thrtclcmp at the red gmail.com. If you like us and want to be updated for much more physics fun, please subscribe to our channel for free. Thank you.